Good day to you. This is Pastora Rose and welcome to Jesus Our Healer. Today, let me read to you some of the promises of God regarding healing. Mark chapter 5 verse 34. He said to her daughter, "Your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering." Psalms 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Matthew 12:22. Then a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute was brought to him, and he healed him, so that man spoke and saw. Maybe you are here and you are sick in your body, and your doctor is telling you that this is a bad combination. I heard some people are saying that when you have COVID and you are, you are diabetic or you have asthma or high blood pressure, that is a bad combination. Just like in Matthew chapter 12, demon-possessed man, blind, mute but look what jesus did the lord jesus healed him he was able to speak and he was able to see this is what jesus our healer can do so it doesn't matter what kind of combination of sickness you have what is relevant is that is that jesus is our healer believe that jesus can heal you in whatever sickness you have Join me once again as we pray and believe the Lord for your healing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, O God, because we believe that you are the Lord who is faithful and true to your promises. God, there are some people, O God, who are here and they are joining us, God, and they are sick in their bodies. And doctors are telling them that they are such in a bad shape. The doctors are telling them that the combination of sickness that they have, O oh God, will not do them any good, Lord. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, that those things, O oh God, those reports are no longer relevant for us. Because, Lord, what matters most to us, O oh God, is the truth that you are our healer. So, Lord, I pray for those people right now, O oh God. I ask in Jesus' name that your healing power will rest upon their bodies from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord, I pray for healing to flow, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for those people, oh God, who are in the isolation room right now. Lord, some of them, God, are, are having a hard time to breathe, oh God. They're having palpitations, oh God. Their soul is not relaxed, oh God. They're having to gasp every breath, oh God. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name for the breath of life, for the Holy Spirit, oh God, for the breath of life. Life, oh God, to flow upon their bodies. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name for those people, oh God, who are fighting, oh God, for their life right now. Lord, we, we believe, oh God, that you are greater than the, whatever sickness, oh God, that they're experiencing, oh God. That you are the one, God, who's fighting for them, God. That they will overcome, Lord Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you that today, God, healing is flowing in the bodies of your people. Miracle is flowing, God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's continue to invite the presence of the Lord. And even as we worship, believe that healing is flowing in your bodies. Hello CUP, let us worship the Lord our way maker. Yeah. Rearranging 
Amen and Amen. Mark chapter 1, verse 34. And Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Luke chapter 22, verse 51. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. John chapter 4, verse 49 to 52. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was on the way, his servants met with the news that the boy was living. When he inquired as to what time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Looking at this passage of scripture, we can see that there's no distance in prayer. Look at what the man did. He took Jesus at his word. When Jesus said, your son will live, he just took Jesus at his word that his son will live. And look what happened to his son. His son was indeed healed. So maybe you are here right now and you have a friend or a family member who is so far from you. And you feel so bad because you cannot pray for him. You feel so bad because you are not with him physically. Beloved, please be assured that even though you may not be with your friend or your loved one physically, that Jesus is with them. That as you pray for that family or friend who is sick, they may be far, they may be far from you, but there's no distance in prayer. Just like what happened to the Father even though Jesus was not with him, Jesus was able to heal the son. God can also do the same thing for you. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank you so much, O oh God, because we can take you at your word. Lord, we believe that you are faithful and true to your promises. And God, when you said that by your wounds we are healed, when you said, Lord, that you sent forth your word and heal us, when you said, Lord, that you are our healer, we believe that, O oh God, and we can take you at your promises. Lord, right now, we lift up to you, God, our friends, our family, O oh God, who are so distant from us, O oh God. Father, we believe, O oh God, that there's no distance in prayer, that, Lord, you can reach out to them, O oh God, and touch them and heal them wherever they are, O oh God. Lord, we lift up to you, God, those family and friends that we have, O oh God. We cannot visit them right now because in their, they are in the isolation room. We cannot visit them right now, God, because in the hospital we are not allowed. But God, we don't need to be afraid. Thank you, Jesus. We don't need to worry, oh God, because we believe, Lord, that they, although they are alone there physically, although we are not there with them physically, we believe, God, that our prayers can reach them. So, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name, God, Touch them wherever they are, O oh God. Visit them, Lord, in the isolation room. Visit them, Lord, wherever they are, God, and let your healing power flow in their bodies, O oh God. Oh, yondo koro rosondere shika de sandia. Yanda kara rosondere shika de sandia. Yondo koro rosondere shika de sandia. Oh, Jesus, let them feel, O oh God, that they are not alone. Let them feel, O oh God, your healing power resting right now. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, that we can take your promises, O oh God, and expect an answered prayer, O oh God. We believe, Lord, that by your wounds, O oh God, they are healed, O oh God. We believe, Jesus, uh, wherever they are right now, God, you are touching their bodies, O oh God, and you are healing them completely. Father, we thank you that there's no distance in prayer. We thank you so much, O oh God. Uh, wherever they are, O oh God, we can receive testimonies of healing, O oh God, because you are faithful and true to your promises. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now let's continue to invite the presence of the Lord as we worship the Lord together. Oh, 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 oh. Sing, you told the childless. You told the childless to look at the stars and count grains of sand. Show him who you are You're the God of hope And you're never too far 
Kiss in the midst of the trial Mama said you are Oh you are Oh what a gift of hope By a God of grace Can turn a broken heart To sing a song of praise Strengthening the wind Everything about you points me to my wonderful future because of you. My past erased today really matters not. I look towards tomorrow with the hope I got. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, what a gift of hope. By a God of grace Can turn a broken heart To sing a song of praise Strengthening the weak To run the race oh, What a gift of hope By a God of grace Oh, eagerly waiting With expectation Joyfully waiting for God To come in His glory Jesus my Savior To take me unto Himself oh, What a gift of hope By a God of grace Can turn a broken heart to sing a song of praise, strengthening the weak to run the race. What a gift of hope by a God of grace. What a gift of hope by a God of grace. What a gift of hope by a God of Oh, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your hope. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for you are good. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. We believe that even now, healing, miracle, life, and strength is flowing in your body. We are so excited to hear wonderful testimonies as Jesus, our healer, will continue to touch you and heal you. Join us once again in Jesus, our healer. God bless you and see you. Jesus.